everyone, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing Junior Eurovision 2015. For those of you who don't know, I started watching Junior Eurovision and regular Eurovision in 2016. So I have reviews from 2016 um, and later. I have actually never watched any of the contest prior to 2016. Now, of course, because I'm in the scene, I have heard songs here and there, most of the winners I've heard before. However, I have never actually sat down and listened to an entire year other than 2016, 17, and 18. So I wasn't really 100% sure if people would want to see this sort of thing. However, with the general success of my Junior Eurovision videos this year, as well as with the suggestion from the user Mirror on the Wall, Thank you so much. I'm going to be reviewing older years of Junior Eurovision. So I'm of course going to start with 2015 because I've listened to all the other years. So I'm going to break this review into three parts. I'm going to be reacting to the bottom five first, then I'm going to be reacting to the middle six, and then I'm going to be reacting to the top six. So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to the bottom five of Junior Eurovision 2015. Obviously these songs didn't do 100% well, so who knows? Maybe I'll love them. Maybe I'll hate them. Who knows? So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into reacting. So I'm going to start in 17th place, aka last place, with Macedonia. So the name of their entry was Platenka Braid of Love, and it's by Ivana and Magdalena. I'm not even going to try to pronounce their last names because we all know how I am with pronouncing languages. And of course I'm going to be reacting to the live shows because they're available for me to watch because, you know, these were years ago. All right, let's start. I'm excited. Macedonia. Love the stage. Okay, the sound. I like the sound. It's like modern. I mean, modern for 2015, right? Are they twins? Or are they just dressed the same? I can definitely see why this came last already. The instrumental's weird. Their voices aren't that good. But it's not bad. There's just something off, like it's not a full package, you know? Yeah, their voices, I feel like, aren't meshing well with the instrumental. But it's fine. It's like kind of an 80s sound, I would say. But their voices aren't. Like the song isn't an 80s song. Yeah, the more I listen to it, the more I don't like the boop, 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 boop that sound in the background. Yeah, I mean, this. I see why this came last. It's not that good. But it's fine. Oh, this part. I don't know what about it I don't like, though. I just don't really like it. Yes! I'm bored though, I want this over with. I'm like, can I just adjust my lights or something? Like, I'm bored. Okay, um, yeah, I wasn't too much of a fan of that. It was just kind of, kind of lame. I didn't 
really like their voices. I didn't really like um, where that went. It didn't build. It didn't make me feel any emotions. I mean, I feel like after like 2017 and 2018 have been like the best years for like really good music. And I have to remember that like 2015 and below, they were like still doing very much like junior children's songs. So I see where they were going, but I just feel like when I see girls like that, like, girls, you are too old to be singing this song. This is like a little kid song. Like this, that wasn't like a mature piece of like music. It was not, yeah, no, that wasn't that good. So I see why that got last place. So next up in 16th place was Italy. Their song was called Viva by Chiara and Martina. So I'm excited for this because it's Italy and Italy generally sends very nice quality music and also, I don't know, a song called Viva? Like, it better have some energy, it better be fun, it better be exciting, like, that's what I expect. Italy. Oh, I kind of like this already. They're, they must be twins. They're beautiful. I think they need some more backing vocalists. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like this. I feel like they could use more stage presence. There's not much going on. But just listening to the song. Like, I like that. That's nice. I could hear myself listening to this more. I mean, they're both, their voices are like fine-ish. Life is right now, here, now for us. I like this chorus though, it's catchy. Okay, like it's catchy. This is nice. I hope all the other songs are like amazing because I do like these. These are nice. This is sweet. Oh, she's got a voice. I like how it's got like kind of rock influences, but like, you know, that early 2000s, like teen, like alternative rock. And obviously like Italian's a beautiful language, so it's definitely working in their favor. Oh, they've got a good voice. Aw. Okay. So I did actually like, I like that. I really did enjoy that. That was a catchy beat and it, it seemed really sweet. I just think, I think what was lacking the most was like stage, like stage presence and just general staging. But also like, I just, I don't know, Junior Eurovision never is as like crazy with their staging or with, even with the kids like stage presence most of the time. It's just like, I like the music and then I see it live. And most of the time there's very, there's only a few artists that like really kill it for me with stage presence. Um, I'm just like thinking off the top of my head, but like Gianluca from Malta. I mean, these are all from 2017, but like Helena Marai, like that was like 
amazing. These girls don't hold a candle to those kinds of people, but they were nice. They were sweet. So next up is in 15th place, The Netherlands, and their song was called Million Lights by Shalisa. Obviously, I love The Netherlands because I'm um, Dowel Bob, so because of him, I have high hopes. So let's react. Also, The Netherlands generally sends really nice quality stuff, like even if I don't like it, like I don't like Salmon, but I can tell that like there's quality there, so I expect the best. Netherlands. I have um, the Netherlands flag hanging like, right above me. Ooh, I like this shot of the candles. Oh, the piano. The hat and the sequins. I like this. Oh, and the dancers. Okay. There's definitely more going on with the staging. I think that outfit is tacky. The purple with the gold and the, like, navy hat. Oh, they've got two sets of dancers. This is very pretty. The transition between, um, I almost, I don't even want to say what language they speak because I keep getting dragged because I got it wrong. Danish. Danish? Dutch. Danish. Danish. The, the difference between the, like, Danish and the English, you guys get what I'm saying if I'm getting that wrong. Um, but I don't feel like they connect. But this is very pretty. I think this has... Oh, those are background singers and then there's the dancers. I th honestly think her styling could have killed it too because if, if they weren't in these like tacky purple and the gold and the pur Like if they were in these nice, clean, sleek, professional, more mature outfits, I feel like that would have elevated this even, because this is a beautiful song. And this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I do love the purple and the yellow for the lights. Oh, I'm not sure about these dances. <laughs> Like, what was that? Yeah. What's that? I don't feel like that goes with the song at all. Mm, I swear I'm not bored, it's just like late. <laughs> Her voice could be stronger, I guess. That was very pretty though, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much, I don't want to say like, I mean obviously I haven't heard all the other songs, but I don't feel like that deserved the, like third to last. Like that was very, a pretty nice song. I liked the staging. I thought everything was going very well. I just think, you know, the styling could have been better, but you know, it's Junior Eurovision. Nobody's ever like perfect, I feel like. Yeah, I really liked that. That was actually like a really, really pretty song, I feel like. Am I washed out? So next up in 14th place was San Marino with the song Mirror by Camila. I'm excited. I forgot that San Marino was even in um, Junior Eurovision. This must have been their last entry. So maybe had, maybe this like was really bad and that's why they left. Who knows? I love San Marino. I love San Marino for ironic purposes. Ooh, that dress! That dress is beautiful. Oh, her makeup is gorgeous! She looks very nervous. Her eyes are like darting around. Ooh!
Oh, this is nice! I just think her vocals would be more powerful, but she seems very nervous. She's obviously standing on something, but she looks like, I mean, just this, it's intense, like this tall, it gives her stage presence, which is something I feel like a lot of the times kids have trouble getting because, you know, they're small or they have just like less of a stage presence, so. I like this. Oh, wait, there's somebody in. Wait, those are people. What? I am shocked. I didn't I didn't think those were people. Okay. She seems very nervous. Oh, this is good though. I appreciate like the aesthetics and the vibe and I like this! This is just a nice ballad. But it's unique. I really like her styling. Whoever did her makeup and all that, it's very good. I, yeah, her voice is a little weak. But it's not bad. Ooh, the red. Aww. She did not deserve this bad of a resolve. She's doing good. Aw, oh, you can really tell she's nervous. Just because I'm like, if if this was like adult Eurovision, you know they would be like serving, they would be like, mirror, mirror on the wall. Like, they'd be really like into it and passionate. And you can just tell she's unsure about herself. She's unsure about what she's doing. She's nervous. Um, but that's um, a shame because I really did enjoy that. That was really nice. That's a shame. That is, I'm mad because San Marino always gets underrated. Once again, underrated. Alrighty, and the last song that I'm going to be reacting to in this video is Montenegro's song. They came in 13th place, and it's called, is it Ouija? Ouija? It's not Ouija, but it looks like, like, you know, Ouija board. Is that an L or an I? Girl, I don't know, but it's by Jana Markovic. I'm excited. I don't know why I'm excited. Is Montenegro still in the- Montenegro's no longer in it. Was it the- Was this Montenegro's last year? I can't remember. Would- Was this Montenegro's last entry for Junior Eurovision? Maybe. Alright. Luja. Oluja. Oh, oh, I don't know. I'm not- I would not know how to pronounce that. O-L-U-G-A-A. Hey girl! Oh you Ouya Her voice sucks. Oh yeah. Sorry. It sucks. This is just cheap. The styling is cheap, the staging is cheap, the song is cheap, but it's a bop. But her voice is very weak. Oh. <laughs> oh, yay. I love how you could just see the cameraman. Like, they just didn't care, huh?
What's going on? It's, what is that? Why? Why was that necessary? Fluorescent yellow attached to her waist. She's not wearing an outfit that goes with it. She's wearing a purple leather jacket. That's not... What was the point of that? Oh, I love the camera getting the woman getting up and leaving. She's like, F this. She's like, what did I pay for? What was that camera cut? It's just some old man looking into this... <laughs> There's a lot of issues with this. But it's got energy. I don't think it deserved higher than San Marino, though. It's like almost painful. I wonder what it's about. Oluya. Oluya. Okay. Yeah, there were a lot of issues with that. The cheap styling, the cheap staging. Her voice was very weak. It just couldn't even handle the, like, I mean, I, it wasn't, like, asking for too much from her voice, but she couldn't really handle that. Yeah, that was, um, you know, not the best. No. I do think, um, honestly, I feel like Italy and, um, the Netherlands and San Marino were better than that. I think... Maybe Macedonia was worse, but I don't even know. I feel like even that was a little bit more cringy for me to watch, so... Huh. Not sure. So yeah, guys, that is it for part one of my reaction to Junior Eurovision 2015. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on all the songs that I reacted to in this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to subscribe to my main channel, Maxi Rainbows, so you don't miss out on any of the content that I'm putting out into this world. And yeah, guys, my name is Maxi Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye.